<laughs> What's up everyone and welcome back to another Every Freaking Wednesday. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click the big red subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up because I promise you're going to love it. And while you're at it, go ahead and click the post notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. Let's just get right into it. So why are we here? I, I just wanted to dive right in because I'm kind of excited to talk about if you read the title, then you know. Instant Influencer is finally coming out. If you don't know what it is, it is the beauty influencer competition with James Charles. Well, if you don't know James Charles, I'm on his payroll. <laughs> no. James Charles is one of the biggest, if not the biggest, YouTube beauty influencers that's been out for the last few years. And now, here we are talking about his reality show. The good thing about it is, is that it's going to be on YouTube for free, okay? And if you like anything like Project Runway or America's Next Top Model, or if you like reality shows, competition shows, if you like drag race, this is, this is going to be something to see. It's history. It's history, it is. And because... Yes, there's been other competition shows, but there hasn't been a competition show like this. And I mean, on any platform, not just YouTube, but just all platforms all across the board, there has not been an, a next big influencer competition. So you have like this formula of reality show that people love that you know works, but with the, the content of it being about beauty influencers, you just the hole. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. He has, uh, of course, a panel of judges like normally you would, but they change every week. Now, I know this for the first episode, which is airing on Friday, April 24th. One of the first judges is going to be Paris Hilton. So I don't know who the other judges are going to be. I don't think he's announced yet, but I do imagine it's going to be other people in the community. I think it's going to be people that are kind of outside of the community. But anyway. So details about the show. There are six or seven contestants. I think um, I will pop up their pictures over here on this side. And um, who do I think is going to win? I don't know. They have like little videos on Instagram and I'm, I guess you can see them probably on YouTube as well. But like they're kind of their introduction, their little bio videos. And I watched them all. It's, it's hard to say because people get on these shows and normally the ones who are very confident and are like, oh, I'm going to take it on. Normally those people go and flag it. And then it's the little shy ones that kind of rise up. But by it being a, a, an influencer thing, I don't know. It might, it may be different from a regular competition show and the ones who had these big bubbly personalities on it might be the ones that just steal it off. If I had to pick, I mean, it's, it's hard. It can really go either way and I'll probably know more after the first episode. But just off of the little bit that I've seen, yeah, if I if I had to pick my my top of who I think are really gonna thrive, I'm gonna have to go with Ashley Christian and little little Benny. Honestly, I can see all of them taking off. I don't know, I would have to really see the first episode of the show, but I will say it seems like there's already kind of a fan favorite. That Ashley girl. I think she already had, I think she was already a pretty big influencer, had a pretty big following. It's a mixed cast. Some of the people who were picked are small influencers, had a small following, and the other ones had more of a, a larger following, which is the point of the show. They were just looking for the best influencer, no matter what following you had. But I keep hearing a lot about the Ashley girl. I don't know if it's because her community is very active or if that really is the fan favorite, but uh, yeah, we're going to see. It's going to be very interesting tea. So, like I said, Friday, April 24th, that's going to be the first episode. So if you guys watch it, please, you have to, if you're going to watch it, please let me know down in the comment section below who you think is going to thrive and who's going to flop on it. Do you think there's going to be any drama? Are you looking for the drama? Will you not watch it if there's not any drama? And I'm just really happy that James is getting to move forward with this opportunity because, what was it, last year this time? Or was it two? Yeah, it was last year around this time you had freaking drama get it with all of the the i mean the, i won't get into it you were here if you know you know if you don't know go look it up that's not what this is about but just know that not so long ago miss james charles was going through the gigs on it but i knew i never gave up on him and i knew that he was 
would come back on top and he's really come full circle and he's bigger and better and better than ever. But I, I just, I, I can't wait to see what they're going to do with the results of the show. Um, we might make this a series. We might make this a series where I come back and I review, you know. Let's see what some of the kids are saying on Twitter. I mean, I'm excited about it. It's, it's history. Let's check it out and we can watch it together. We can be BFF instant influencer compadres. I mean, the girls are really excited about it. Also, uh, some of the prizes, the, the winner gets $50,000 prize along with some other perks. So this isn't just some little throwaway competition. Like this is the real deal. Now, I, I do have a question for you guys. So we've seen with these competition shows, especially singing shows, after the first couple seasons of like the singing shows, and I'm talking about first couple seasons of American Idol, nobody really remembers anyone. You have these people that win these competitions and then you don't really hear from them again. The winners from America's Next Top Model, you, you see them, but that's modeling, so you're not really looking for them like that anyway. But you kind of know that they did kind of make it. But as far as like the singing competitions and some of these other competition shows, you don't ever hear from these people again. And in some instances, it makes their career a little worse. And normally the runner up is the one who we really see because they have freedom to take on some other opportunities. Whereas usually when you're the winner of some of these shows, you're tied down and they and they just don't do anything for your career. Whereas if you're the second or the third person runner up, you get offered usually a better deal. So do you think that this is gonna be one of those situations? Do you think that these influencers that do the show are really going to be blasting to be the next top instant influencer or are they just going to be a makeup artists who used to be on that show that one time? I don't know. I think it depends on how the show goes. I think it's going to be really, I think it's going to be good in my biased opinion. I, I think for one, it's going to be good because there's no other show like it. You have nothing to compare it to. So of course it's going to be great. But just the highlight world that I've seen in little, little clips here and there and looks like it's going to be funny looking, it's going to be entertaining. Some of the guests that they have on there, it's going to, I, I think it's I think it's going to be spicy. I'm, I'm scrolling through Twitter right now and I'm seeing a lot of positivity. A lot of people are excited. But like I said, James Charles is one of those people that people love to hate. I love him. Lots of us love him. But he's definitely one of those people that people love to hate. So to be able to scroll and scroll for so long and not see anything negative definitely leads me to believe that this is going to be great. I wonder if it's going to turn into a season two and everything. I'm just glad that they were able to film and wrap up before all the quarantine stuff. I mean, not that this is important, but can you imagine having your own show, your own competition, the first of its kind, and then you not be able to do it because of coronavirus? Like, that would have I mean, they're all really good and they all have very different personalities, but there wasn't anyone that I was like, oh, no, I don't want them on there. They picked a really good group. Normally, there's always somebody that you're like, eh, man, why they pick them or all their, they seem like jerks. Like, everyone seemed really nice. They have married people, they have single people, they have people that, uh, there's moms, there's men, women. So it's a nice little, little mix. All right, so that's it for my little promo video for Instant Influencer. Go ahead and make sure you mark your calendars and watch it because I think it's going to be really good. Even if you're not into like YouTube or like even if you're not into makeup, I think it'll be a nice watch. If you're into reality competition shows, I think it's really going to be a nice little treat. And like I said, it's free. So, I mean, why, why not? Why are we not watching it? James Charles really deserved this win. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm excited. I mean, I'm biased, you know, whatever. But um, yeah, if you watch it, please come find me on social media and let me know so we can have a little chit chat, spill some tea. Um, let me know your guesses on what you think the first competition is going to be. I think it's going to be something where they have to do something that represents like their backstory or something, you know, some kind of obviously like an introductory thing, but also it could be something completely off the wall. 
Anyways, that's all the time that I have for you guys today. Just wanted to put that out there and let you know that I'm going to be watching. I hope that you're going to be watching. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and click the big red subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. And while you're at it, go ahead and click the post notification bell. Don't be afraid to come find me on all of my other social media. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, sisters.